I'm scared to drop this one in the future, man. I have a feeling it's only going to go like that. Everything else is probably going to stay on the inside. Audio, good, clean, everything's clean. Chris, how are you doing today? Good, cha cha. Are we all falling asleep? Yes. Wake up, everybody. It's time for another exciting adventure video review. It's me, Scotty Hoy. You're watching Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy. This is B Mus. Today, we're looking at something totally out of the blue. This thing just suddenly came out. It was announced and I thought it was a total joke. And it arrived here in the office. I'm like, no way. This is available on the store, pickmeupscotty.com. But before you buy it, I got to copy that other channel. The, the guy goes like that. Before you buy, let me explain it to you. So what we're looking at today is from a brand new brand called Lee's Song. And this is the Dior flagship store. They would like to call it Dior. They call it Dory instead for obvious reasons. LS88001, 3,028 pieces. I was like, yes, new modular set, new building. This is pretty crazy. I love it because it's like architectural. And in case you didn't know, which I didn't know either, that this is based on a real building in Korea, South Korea, the Dior flagship store. Of course, they can't say that here. And let me just tell you right away, real quick, down below here, you're supposed to have a tile that says Dior or Dior, D-O-I-R. In fact, the set doesn't have any stickers. So you probably have to get that done by yourself. A smart move on them. They don't want to get caught, man. Too late now, they're going to see this and be like, who made this? I didn't make it, man. I just sell this on the store. But anyway, first impression, this was actually really fun to put together. I was like, oh man, brick quality. I could not tell if it was like Jihang bricks. Definitely not Go bricks. Uh, actually it might be, but no, they're not in the Go bricks bag. But some of the pieces is like the ones from Rio bricks. I didn't have any issues with the bricks. They all snapped in pretty, pretty okay. The smooth tile are a little bit scuffed up on the darker ones and the windows are very scuffed. It seems to be happening with all the sets. So that kind of stuff doesn't really bother me. If you look at it from a distance here, it looks crazy good. And most of the window pieces actually don't have windows on them. It's just like air to flow through. Before we look into the set, let me show you the box. Look, it looks like a fashion designer set. Of course it says door, flagship store. And they even have a description here. It says this building represents DR and his working form. It says, I think the surface should be smooth. Hey, why are you talking to yourself, man? This is supposed to be a paragraph about the thing. They should rise and wave in the sky as if they were moving. I'm serious, that's what it says. Okay, the back half is rectangular, but the rest of it looks like a flower petal and so on and so on. But there's the box for you. It's a nice box. I like the look of it. There's the back. Big box, man. It's actually a pretty big set. But it can always be broken down. And we're going to see all the details in a bit. There's a little description. Screen grab this if you need to. Cut this out and print it yourself so you pretend you have a box. There, and then now let me show you the manual. The set actually does come with a USB lighting. If I find my USB lights later, we'll do a shot of that for you. But um, it's like the one in Takata set. USB and you just like wrap it around the set and do whatever you want with it. The manual looks actually pretty good. I like it. It is pretty simple and easy to read. There is an interior and I was actually pretty impressed. Like, oh, it's simple, but there were some fun little bits that I liked. I'm like, oh, hey, that's kind of cool. And it kind of works. I think most of you are probably just gonna look at the outside of this building and be like, yo, that looks crazy good. But there is a catch when it's designed like that, which you'll see in a second. So this set has no figures. And the interesting thing is it might not be quite the scale. They don't have a front door, uh, this, a regular door size. It's like they're using windows for the doors there. But yo, if I just do like this, I don't even know where to start, man. You have all these, the pedal pieces that kind of have a little bit of articulation that kind of curve around the set a little bit. And look at that, isn't that crazy? But as I mentioned, it comes with a catch. You cannot take the floors off without taking about seven parts off before you lift it off. So once these pieces come off, it's a really super solid build. Here's this side, this is the back, or the side of the back. There's nothing really going on there. And this is the other side here. Nothing there. So forget about this. You don't want to look at this. All you need to look at is this. And I have to be brutally honest with you. I thought this was going to be a really sucky build. I'm like, I've never heard of this brand. 
I can see it falling apart on me. And you no, know, I'm a Chris man. Is this for real? Is this legit? But putting it all together, I'm like, yo, I was really surprised if I pick up the whole thing for you. Yeah, there's a little bit, you don't want to push it around and you'll see why, but you can hold this up and it feels like it has some good weight to it. And they really put some thought into the design process of making this thing. How real is it compared to the real one? Here's a screenshot of the real building. As far as interior goes, I have no idea. You guys can watch interior of, on YouTube and compare it and let me know in the comments what you think. Let's look more closely at the exterior here. We come to this side. It's all tiled by the way, but yeah, look at the grays. Like the brick quality is not that great as far as like smooth tiles go because or just because it's darker, it's like just kind of scratched up looking. Yeah, it really reminds me of the symbol block Apple store. Chris, I don't even think you've seen that one before. It was, that was like one of the OG videos that I did way back with Locke. Locke, my man, I hope you're good. These pieces that are all curved will pop off pretty easily. They're not being held down very tightly, but it's doing that on purpose because you want to open the setup, you got to take all this off. So this part here is one piece and this part here is kind of like one piece. So you'll see how that all comes off together. So doing it like that, yeah, you kind of sacrifice, like might be a little bit loose. You do have to be very careful that these don't pop off their studs. You know, they're only being held down like three or four studs holding these things up. So you got to be careful when you're manhandling this thing. Just be careful with it. So inside this area, there is a little mannequin. He's very hard to see, but you'll see it when we take it off what he looks like. There's a lot of body parts with this set, but they're just mannequin supposed to be. You got a little doorway there. It's a little bit small for a doorway. And we come up to this corner area here, the glass. I kind of did wish they had glass panels with it, but the funny thing is they came with a bunch of these black pieces. They don't even fit, or they do kind of fit these sizes. No, they don't fit the sizes. They're like too big. So these are just like wasted pieces. You can use these as spare pieces. Maybe you can decorate the outside like that and make it look more designery. I don't know, man. I'm just making that up. Okay, we keep coming around this corner here. More curved look to it. They look like big giant spaceship wings that are like falling into the ground. That's my imagination. And you got another panel here. This one is a separate panel as well. So you're gonna slap all these on. This piece, if I remember, wasn't like quite perfectly snug or flushed down. It could have been a little bit adjusted better or maybe that's my problem, but it's still pretty fit in there. And you can't tell from this angle. You can probably tell from like, this angle, you can see it like stick out a little bit there. That's supposed to be more flushed in. That's fine, man. Little nitpicking thing. I'll show you two shots of one time right here in the back. There's nothing going on. Just all these little random pieces that is for the interior. I do, I actually do like this. Oh, that was actually kind of cool, right? So that's the outside for you. Let's slowly take this off one by one and I'll show you how it works. So you take this off first, you go pop, pop, Pop. Remember, you got to take these off, man. These are all connected. You got three floors on here. So if you want to take these floors off, you got to do that. And if you want to install the lights, you got to take everything off anyway. So you can put the lights inside. So we take that out of the way. The second one you got to pull off. So you can see right here, two, four, six studs. That's it. There's nothing holding this piece up. These are super durable. These were actually really fun to build. I was like, yo, I enjoyed this. It's like a bat wing airplane looking thing like ooh, got some style they really secured it down with these pieces it's secure man nothing's falling off it's like oh did i have any missing pieces i think i had one deformed piece it was like a, a coat rack that's supposed to be a little bit taller it's, it's smaller in the set but you can't really tell this piece does come off pretty easily let's pull this one off there oh look see that came off that's why you gotta be careful there so this is supposed to be like one solid piece and it rests here and it's supposed to like sit on this piece here. And this piece also is quite loose. So we'll take that off. This panel is probably the most craziest one. Pull this forward like that. Pull this there. And the door, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you the door comes out here. This is the door piece. It's supposed to be, supposed to take that out first, pull it out. And then you take this part off. Same deal, it kind of curves here. What an interesting piece. I'm like, yo, this is cool. Okay, so we'll put this here. Like a little model kit now. So these are all the panels that you're supposed to take off. And this last one here, see if I can get this off right. I hope I got this off right. Am I supposed to? There you go. Ah. But doing this, some parts might pop off just because it's like kind of loose with the clutch. There. Okay. 
There we go, look. Okay, so this is what it looks like without any of the panels on. If you want to keep it like this, I mean, it kind of looks bare like that. It kind of looks cool on its own. So if you don't want it so flashy and designery, you want to insult them, you can be like, yo, just like this looks A-OK -okay to me. And just so you know, more sacrifices to be made. Like you have very loose panel wall. A lot of the walls can just come off quite easily because they're sitting in a way that it fits these pieces on. I'm okay with that, man. I'm like pretty happy with this. It's super solid. You can see a better close up there of this mannequin that was blocked off. It's got a nice hat and a nice printed body. I like that body. So let's take off this. We'll take off the second floor first. Does it come off easy? Um, I remember you kind of have to shift things around just because the walls kind of move here and there. These pieces here, like this window and this, even this wall, this wall, they're kind of like separated. Just be careful when you're trying to line it all up. We come into the first floor, which is the shopping center. You know what I like about it? I, I just like the colors. I thought that was actually like really good. There's space to put your hand inside. If you drop something, it's okay. You can get it. Where is the door, man? I don't even know where the door is. So let's just pretend we're walking in this imaginary door. You come inside and let's look at this wall, the side of the wall. You got some hats along the wall and you got this glass case of fans. It, I, I enjoyed putting that together. Look, that's the only indication of the logo that's being, that you make here. It looks like it's a Dior, but it's kind of true. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? I don't know, what do you think? Chris is looking at me like, yeah. Cheap looking to you, or does it look good to you? Look good, but maybe they create the local? Everyone open up your phones right now. Yeah. Check your flagship store in Korea. Let's compare this all together. Chris is going to look on his phone. He'll tell me if it's like the same or not. Did they create that by themselves, or is this an original idea? Anyway, in front of that logo, you have these two countertops with some bags on it. I like that little variation in color there. Oh, uh, oh Chris is like... The floor. The floor is the same. Almost. almost the same. Almost the same as the real thing. And the placement of the bag, same. Same placement of the bags are the same. Yeah. What about the hanging lights? Hanging lights, they have hanging lights, but uh, different. different style. Different, different style. style hanging light. But what about this fan, this case, the back wall with that logo? Yeah, yeah I try to look for that one. He's, the Chris is trying to hunt that one down. Yeah, yeah. I just built the set and it's already getting dust collected into it. The worst part for the set is probably the staircase. The staircase will just pop off. There's no security to it. But surprisingly, like even if I, if, okay, if I go like this, look, nothing's falling out. Okay, so it is pretty secure there. And this is what the plate looks like. So this is a very different plate. I only remember this from like Juhang and Real Bricks, man. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. You guys correct me. I know you're professionals out there. Because you guys are such internet sleuths, we just realized and put the puzzle together. So Juhang and Real Bricks are exactly the same company. And apparently they belong to Jastar. If you don't know Jastar, J-I-E-S-T-A-R, they're notorious for doing a lot of stolen designs, but at least this is original. I sure hope it is. Anyway, good job, guys. Staircase is just connected by stud, single studs all the way down. You can take that off really easily, but luckily it's hanging in there. I like this little wall right here. What is this, like paintbrush? B makeup with leaf on it? Is that just like a designing designer thing? I don't think they have the logo to that. No? Chris has no logo. And you got a teddy bear in this window. Like, hey, everybody. I like this little corner here. This was actually pretty cool, man. This three mannequin bodies with flowers on top and a bird. <laughs> yeah, unique, man. This is really unique. This is so different. It also kind of reminds me of the Singapore LV store that I reviewed. And finally, over here, you got the section with like gold glasses and crystals. I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, there is this little weird cabinet or this weird counter piece that's near the bear it's kind of built into the wall but i don't know why that's there that's the first floor for you i actually really like it it's pretty cool and it's surprisingly secure at this moment how you doing little bully you enjoying yourself i'll review that guy next don't worry we'll get to him he is so cool man okay this is another floor which looks really good on its own i think and we'll take this rooftop piece off i like the rooftop part but we'll take him off take this off here oh it's kind of tight right there what's it connected to okay there pull it off nice so you come up that loose staircase and you go to this floor which they call the vip center it's kind of it's creative for sure okay chris second floor what's the second floor look like does it look like this or is it totally different now i like the rails that was a nice touch 
And where do I start? I'll start in this corner first. You got the statue, very designer style, very artsy. This is an artsy fartsy little set. And you got this decoration on the wall. So it's more about the decorations on this, this floor. It's not about the bags or anything, right? I don't know what this is. This is like a mannequin with a little piece on top. And I just, you guys, please let me know what you think that is. In the corner here, you got some stools. Uh, I think that's a stool or a sitting down area. Is that a chill area? I don't know, man. I'm confused when I see this corner. And on this side is another kind of like what repeating on that side, like a little mannequin umbrella looking thing on top. I'm clueless about this stuff, man. I actually quite like the entrance, like the scuffed up window pieces, but hey, that's a cool little entrance. You go inside there and it looks like the most expensive clothing that's being guarded off by those transparent pieces. That was actually pretty cool. And it looks like a little table there. Now that lamp, or it's supposed to be a lamp, it's supposed to be a little bit taller. That was a piece that was deformed on mine. And the curtains, I like the curtains, it's brick built. Hey, skinny and tall, it's got a nice look to it. And you know what, the whole floor is tiled. So we come back to this area here, that looks like a chill area, it's just a table and a chair. And I thought this was actually really, really good how they did the staircase. They're just using those kind of like C looking pieces, L piece, I don't know what those pieces are called. They're sticking them up against the wall and it goes up and then they're just using flat tiles to hold down those pieces. And it is secure, it is tight. I really like how they did that and it saves a lot of space and it saves the hassle of having to design or build a stair, even though you can use a stair piece. I like this quite a lot. That's the second floor for you. Pretty simple stuff, right? We come up to the rooftop area from that staircase and you go to this weird looking shape thing. It looks like a bee. For your biatches that don't like the set, that bee is for you. I'm just kidding, man. It's all tiled there. And up here is a coffee joint. That's cool. You can actually take this part off. The cafe. It's a pretty simple cafe. I like it though. Chris is looking more at you looking. I'll try to look. It's not the second floor. It's not. No. I mean, all it's all changed. Different. different. What about the cafe? Some the cafe. Different. Different. Totally different. Okay. Now they probably lost it from the first floor and said, screw it. We're just going to do our own thing on the second yeah, yeah. and third floor. So the cafe here, it's nice and open. I like how it's all open, but man, those windows are like super scratched up, man. You might want to use your own window pieces there. That's like totally Juhang style. Juhang. There's no, there's no door coming in. It's like really scratched here, man. Like bad. I can even see it with my own eye. I can't even see you through the window because it's so scratched up. But when you come inside, I like the flooring. It's not complete looking, but it looks creative and different. Those are little printed cupcakes and cookies there. It looks like a cash register and a little coffee machine maker back there. It's very simple in terms of design. Oh, outside here in the little corner is a little, I guess a patio area where you can sit down, but it's just an umbrella there. And look, it's the only plants in this whole building that's hanging out. Interesting. It's very minimalist. That's the word, it's a very minimalist word. I like it. I mean, it's just more of a chill set. That's just crazy. I've never knew that they would come out with something like this. So, you know, I had to get this and review it for you guys. And that's pretty much more or less it. So if I put this all back together, put this back here. I want to make sure it's all lined up there. There, there, okay, you can push it all down. It is it is very secure when you don't have those pieces on. Put this on here. This one goes, you gotta make sure it pops down on there. There, see, I'm putting some pressure on it. See, it's fine, secure, man. Nice and tight. This is the only part where it gets loose. So you put this one on first. Slide this over here, push it down. Oh yeah, baby. Did I get it in? You wanna curve this piece a little bit. I'm sure you're gonna lose this part later. Then this part here lets you, oh no, I think you put this one after. I keep forgetting which part to put on first. We'll put this piece on, cause I know this is supposed to be one of the first few things that you put on. Just push gently, apply pressure. Then you push this part here and there it's fitted. So for sure, this is very easy to knock down. Then we put the door on here. There we go. There. And that's the missing piece that's supposed to say a door. And this part just kind of curves and just line it up and match it there. 
Can I get it? Probably not. Come on. This piece here is gonna hold this back wall together, so that's why you have to be careful. And I guess you can like push this piece in just a little bit, give it a little bit of curve there. And then you take this one, this one. This one was actually pretty easy, but man, this feels like it'll fall over if you don't watch it carefully. There you go. So there, it's only secure here. Definitely not secure here. And there's nothing to latch it onto, but it still looks pretty good. And same deal. You can kind of curve these two pieces in a little bit. So you get that look. It's fun. It's fun, but you have to put a little bit of work when you want to take this thing on and off all the time. And then we slap this on here like this and push this back. Boom, there it is. Let's check the dimension on this thing. So here we go, dimensions. It is on a 32 by 32 plate. Their plate is actually slightly raised up higher. And now break out your one by four bricks. Let's stack it up around here. And it's touching like right around there. Let's see, that's the highest part is this part here it's actually lower on the back here so if i put it together there it is roughly around 28 bricks in height it's not too it's not too tall actually the zing bao one was taller than this i think i don't know anymore so this video is complete it is time to drop the duo set i predict everything all the wings are gonna fly off. This thing is gonna literally fly. But I think the floor is gonna be super sturdy. Here we go. Get ready for this, guys. Hold on to your underwear. Let's go. Okay, so all the wings flew off. I knew that. I didn't realize the floors would actually fly off, but I guess because the bottom floor wall was not structurally sound, it was going to loosen up. It did get loosened up here. Everything inside is okay, except for one light and the staircase. That staircase came apart. Everything else seemed to be fine. Or maybe this part came off, but you know, this is not held in by much either. So it's good to know what's not supported and what is supported. The upper floor is fine. Just a couple pieces got shifted. You know, the plate got a little bit loose there. Umbrella popped off. Plant came off. Okay, that's an easy fix. The B for you, yeah, just survive. Second floor. Uh, actually, it's pretty intact. Just the mannequin and this office wall. But the front, look at that, man. It's all open now. But this looks like a pretty easy fix, man. It's just like one piece of wall right there. And we're done. And just this window piece, which is very similar to the ground floor. The window part here. Let's put that here. And just the wings. Nothing actually fell off the table, right, Chris? Everything's okay. See there, the wings. Hey, the wings actually pretty survived pretty good, man. They're all intact, except uh, this wing, which is easy to connect like that. Now, we can fly out of here. So overall, the exterior, I think it looks amazing. Everything's structurally, you're not gonna have any problem putting things together. You just have to be very careful with this. The interior, yeah, I guess it's kind of like plain, could have used a little bit more work, but I still kind of like the pieces that are in there because they they didn't just waste it and not empty and like put stupid things here and there. It has some nice features to it. So, you know, what do you guys think? Let me know, please. I wanna know your thoughts on this thing. Was it worth for Lee Song to release this as their first set? I wonder what they're going to do next. So thank you so much for watching. It's time for me to work on some other videos for you guys. All right. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, you guys. Break me out. Bring, bling, 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 bling. Don't forget to flatten this box, Chris. Where is the front door, Chris? Is this supposed to be the front door? This one's being blocked off. This is blocked off. There's no door.